everyone and welcome back to Mystery Review Monday. I don't think I have been this excited for a review since I've been doing these. Today I'm going to be reviewing the entire, at least the four, brand new e.l.f. skincare products. Firstly, I just want to say a huge thank you to e.l.f. because I have had so much fun trying these out, but as you guys know, I really, really put them to the test over the past two weeks and I'm just going to give you my 100% honest opinions. These do come in a set of four, which I think is really smart if you're interested in the majority of them because it's going to cost you $42 for all of these. Now individually they do sell them like that and they're between $8 and $12 depending on which one but I'll get into all that in a second but I think it's smart to buy them as a group because it will save you money. I think it's incredible that there's finally a drugstore very inexpensive skincare line. I mean for $42 guys some people spend that on like one eye cream. I mean I know that I've spent around that for an eye cream. There are eye creams that are even way more than that so I think for $42 getting all four of these is fantastic. So without further ado let's Let's go ahead and break these down individually, starting with the smoothing serum. This contains purified water, jojoba, aloe, vitamin E, and it's said to lock in moisture and reduce the look of fine lines. So with this, I was happy with it. I'm not one to use a lot of serums, and I really haven't for as long as I can remember. I don't really know why, I just kind of felt like it was an extra step. But with the serums I have used, I feel like a lot of them sit on top of the skin, they make the skin feel quite sticky, and when I massaged two pumps of this into my skin, it just felt really luxurious. Luxurious. Yes, it is more on the gel side of things. All of these tend to be like a gel cream almost hybrid, but I felt like when I actually was working this into my skin, it went in and it soaked in really well. After this did soak in, it did leave my skin feeling just slightly tacky for like a couple minutes, but then that feeling was gone, and I really enjoyed wearing it under both of the moisturizers. Now with all of these, I haven't used them enough to see like the smoothing of fine lines and things like that, but I definitely was happy with this product. Next up, up is the nourishing night cream and this is what I would apply at night so we went serum now moisturizer and I was really happy with this you're going to get 1.76 fluid ounces for $12 this has the purified water the aloe the jojoba the vitamin E all of that stuff and it's said to smooth and protect the skin if you've been watching this channel for a while you guys know that I love a good night cream because I have such dry skin and I feel like at night I just need a lot of moisture so I can sleep and just let my skin rejuvenate so I really put this stuff to the test now this one is a little thin thinner than I'm used to. I'm a huge, huge fan of the creaminess and the thickness of the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. And this is like another one of those kind of gel, kind of cream, hybrid type things. But this is a little bit more on the creamy side. So even though this was on the thinner side for me, I still thought it did a good job. It really, really felt moisturizing going on the skin. It absorbed quickly, which was awesome, and it didn't leave my skin looking or feeling greasy at all. The only thing I'm going to have to say with this is that I feel like it's going to be good for all skin types. Really all of these I feel like would be really, really good. But since right now I fall into the extremely, extremely dry category, I didn't think that this provided enough moisture for me. So all in all, I was happy with this. And I do think that if you have very dry skin, you're going to benefit from it. The only thing I'm going to say is you might want to have like some heavy duty moisturizers on the side to use when you need them. If we're sticking with the nighttime skincare routine, then the next product up would be the illuminating eye cream. Now you're going to get 0.49 fluid ounces of this for $10. This does contain the purified water, jojoba, vitamin E, and no aloe this time, and it actually has cucumber, which is nice. This does say that it's supposed to reduce the look of dark circles and also eliminate any puffiness around the eyes. I am an eye cream junkie. I have tried so many high-end versions. I think I've only tried one other drugstore one, maybe the CeraVe one, but I love seeing more options as far as drugstore eye creams go. Now with this, I hate to say, but it was probably my least favorite out of all three just because I needed a ton more moisture. I definitely think think that I am an exception though because I have struggled with kind of like a skin condition on my eyelids for some time now. It pops up every now and again and it's just super super dry flaky skin toward the outer corners and also kind of in by my tear duct in a way and I liked using this. It did soothe even that super dry super scaly skin immediately. However when I slept in it I would wake up and they'd be flaking all over the place once again. A little of this does go a super long way. I've found that when I pick some up on my finger I I tend to have to like wipe half of it off on like a towel because it's almost like that gel that kind of just keeps on going and going around your eyes. But I do think a lot of you are going to like this and I don't really feel like my opinion is going to be great for a lot of you just because
because I need a ton of moisture. If you need a ton of moisture, then I guess we can kind of relate. But I feel like if you have like a normal eye area, just a slightly oily eye area, or even just like a slightly dry one, this is gonna work for you. So definitely don't count it out. But if you need a ton of moisture like me, this probably isn't gonna do it for you. I wanted to quickly touch on the packagings of these little pots because these are two pots and then obviously I talked about the serum already and the moisturizer is coming up. But these two look extremely, extremely high end to me and they perform really well. With these, it's kind of a different story. I still feel like they look stunning. Like when they're sitting out on my vanity, I just feel like they look beautiful. However, they almost feel a little bit plasticky and they lack that weight that I feel like something like this should have. So just throwing that out there, but they're still, like I said, beautiful to look at. And that's always great with skincare. <laughs> Moving on to what I would do in the daytime and getting into this daily hydration moisturizer. Now, I mean, come on guys, look at this packaging. Like seriously, does that not remind you of Clinique? I think it's stunning. You're gonna get 2.53 fluid ounces and with this one, it's the most reasonably priced out of all of these because you're gonna get this for only $8. This does have the purified water, jojoba, vitamin E, aloe, but also cucumber and I liked this. I'm a huge, huge fan of moisturizer and I feel like this did a good job However, it lacks one huge aspect that I look for in my daily moisturizer, and that is SPF. I wear SPF 30 on an everyday basis, and I personally feel like that is one of, if not the most important part of a skincare routine. So I was super, super, super sad to see that this didn't have any. Also, this did have the strongest scent out of all of these. I haven't touched on scent yet because those three I've already talked about didn't really smell like anything, but with this, if you you've tried the Benefit skincare line, it smells almost identical and it's just about as strong as that stuff. I really didn't mind the scent, I kind of enjoyed it just because I love the way it smells. It's kind of clean, kind of florally, but it's just strong. And when I was testing this out for the two weeks I was putting it on, I'm like, even though my skin doesn't react to like scents and stuff, some of yours might. So I just wanted to throw that out there and if you do not like highly scented skincare, this is not going to be for you. This again is on the thinner side, it's almost one of those gel cream hybrids that I keep saying or keep talking about, but I'm a huge fan of the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, which I have been using for such a long time, and that's super creamy. So I do prefer the creamy ones, but this one did a good job. I felt like it absorbed nicely, and this pump was awesome. I think I would do about two pumps, and it was really easy to control, and I didn't feel like I was getting too much or anything like that, but it did absorb nicely. It left my skin looking like my skin. I wasn't super shiny, I wasn't super oily, and I thought that it did really, really well under any foundations I put on top. Like I keep saying, if you're in the extremely dry category, I think you're going to need a little bit more moisture than this provides, but for me personally, even though right now in the winter I have really, really dry skin, I see this being fantastic for me like in the summer when my skin is a little bit less dry. I also see this being great for obviously normal skin types, but oily as well, because it's on the lighter side and it provides moisture without being too, too heavy. So that really concludes all of my individual reviews, but I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the line in general for a a second. I did have one pet peeve kind of about this packaging and that's because it contains no other information other than the name. So on the backs of these, especially on like the daily moisturizer and the serum, there is no information, no ingredients, no directions, anything like that. No even like description of what it's supposed to do. And being like a beauty lover, I think I just love reading over packaging and I was kind of sad to see that these were a little bit bare as far as like information went. I must admit I was a very, very skeptical before trying these because I have always been a person who thinks the more money you spend on your skincare, the better ingredients you're going to get and the better results and just the better products all around. But with these, I got to tell you guys, I was super impressed and blown away. As I was using these, there was just one huge thing that I had in my head and that is the kind of person or the type of person who is going to benefit the most from this. Now I say that because if you're a beauty lover like me and you have a set skincare routine, maybe contain higher end products, I don't think that you're going to get these and feel like any of these are better than what you're already using. However, I do feel like this is going to be a great starting kit for those of you looking to start a skincare routine. I mean, it's inexpensive. It's going to do what you want it to do. And especially if you don't fall into those categories of like extremely dry or extremely oily, these are going to work out great for you. I mean, it contains four that's not overwhelming. And also it contains like the four staples, I would 
think I mean a daily moisturizer, a nightly moisturizer, an eye cream, and a serum. All you really need to add to this is like a cleanser and you're good to go. So if you are like in your early teens and you've always been interested in trying something like this, getting this package I think would be awesome. I also think that if you're a mother watching this and you have a young daughter who seems to start being interested in this kind of thing, I think this would be a great gift. And lastly, I just wanted to throw in here when I was looking up all of the information on these on the e.l.f. site, I did notice that these are going to be excluded from all non-shipping like promo codes. I'm not quite sure if other coupons or sales will apply, but just throwing that out there. And also on the pre-shop.eyeslipsface.com, I think is what it's called. When I was looking at these, there are a lot more products in the line. There's going to be a cleanser, an exfoliator, I think a makeup removing towelettes, a BB cream, a mist. So there's a lot coming, including a bigger size of this daily moisturizer. So that's been my review of the four new products from e.l.f. And I just want to say a huge thank you to them once again. And also just congratulations on the skincare line because these products are really, really great. So if you found this helpful, please give it a huge thumbs up. And also remember to leave your suggestions as far as products go for the next mystery review. As always, guys, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.